So the first thing you need to learn is this little intro section that sounds like this. So that section is repeated twice. So I'm just gonna show you those notes and you're gonna to have to use your ear to figure out the exact timing of each note. So I recommend playing it along with the recording or you can play along with this, uh, with, with my uh, what I just played for you. And I'll try and give you a couple of hints. But first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your forefinger, this like ring finger on an A and you're gonna go A, I'm just gonna tell you the, the order of the notes and I'll write them above the keyboard. So A, B, A, G, Sorry, A, A, B, A, G, D, E, G, E, B. So that E, B was the last part that I didn't get quite right on the first time there. B, and then you kind of start over. A, B, A, G, D, E, G. But then you, at this part you go E, B, A. So it's kind of like switches the, the version, the, the order. And you start again. Uh, a, B, A, G, D, E, G. And then this part, E, and I move my to my thumb here. E, G, D, B. E, G, D, B. G, A, B. Okay, so that's the whole thing. And I know I like just slam that out at, out at you there, but it's a string of uh, notes. I I'll write them above the keyboard. And you really just gotta practice doing it to in time. Start with your forefinger, that'll be a, a good help for you. And on the third, now that was like the second time, here's the third time through. Oops, sir. And to move to your thumb on this E. So make this move easy. So I'll show you one more time and then we're gonna move on. And the only advice I'm gonna give you about figuring out the timing is to notice that some of these notes are a little bit um, what a friend of mine would call anticipated. So they don't fall right on the beat, they're a little bit before. Hear that? And it's actually kind of hard for me to snap in time too because you're anticipating. Those are sort of all a little bit rushed, okay? So think about that when you're listening for it. Now after that little uh, section that you repeat twice, you're gonna dive into basically a chorus section. And so the song kind of, the lyrics start in on a chorus. So you've got a uh, C, I'll play it down here. C, a C chord, so I'm playing C, G, and C in my left hand. C, uh, e, G, and C in my right hand. And you move to a G, so I play G, D, and G in my left hand, B, D, and G in my right hand. That third chord is a D, these are all major so far. D, A, D in your left hand, F sharp, A, and D in your right hand. And the, the sort of progression uh, comes to a head on this E minor, of course we've got E, B, E, G, B, and E in your right hand. I apologize for the what sounds like the garbage truck outside. Um, we'll push through it and I'm sure it'll be gone soon. Uh, okay, so you've got that, that's the first half of the chorus, and then it sort of repeats again. You go into a C, so you've got C, G, C, E, G, and C again, and to a G, just like before. And to a D, just like before. I'm not gonna show you all these chords because I just showed them to you. Now the only difference is, instead of going to that E minor for the fourth like part of this little loop, you can do a D sus4, which just means you move this F sharp to a G. And back down. So let me show you what that chorus sounds like. I'll go slow and I'll try and talk you through the chords at the same time. You've got C, G, D, D, E minor, C, G, D, D sus4, D, and you repeat
repeat. So this D sus4, just sort of listen to the song and hear whether or not you're playing that D sus4 comes in. All right. So anyway, you're going to play that chorus block, and it's that part that I just showed you twice, chords written above the keyboard. And then you're going to go, go into this transition block. Now, the transition block is a chord pattern that we're going to use for the verse as well. So once you learn the transition block, you'll actually lo know most of the song uh, and with just a couple of tiny little catches. All right. So the transition block sounds like this. sang with a nasal annoying voice but that actually there's no singing at that part that's just the uh, music so you've got an E minor chord there E B and E in your left hand G B and E in your right hand to a C C G C in your left hand E G and C in your right hand and that moves up to a D D A D in your left hand F sharp A D your right hand and that moves down to a B mi uh, a uh, B minor and notice how like these two chord notes that you're already using are kind of like part of the chord so you can play it like that um, the key there is the the B the D and the F sharp you can play sort of these octaves too if you want okay and then you kind of repeat it not exactly you still get that E minor you still have the C you still have that D and now just like in the chorus, on the second time through the, the loop, you can do a D sus4 into a D. Okay? So that's very similar to the chorus structure, just sort of uh, change up the order and mix in one, one, one different chord. All right, so after you play that transition block just once through, you're going to go right into a verse, and the verse is exactly the same as the transition block, except you play it twice. So I'll play it for you once as a review, and then we'll move on. E minor, mm, C, D, D, D. B minor, mm, mm, E minor, C, D, D sus4 to D, and you repeat. B minor, E minor, C, D. And then you're gonna move into the chorus section, which I already taught you. Feeling low, even in the and it starts to snow. But anyway, you play that chorus block, and you basically know the song. There's just one extra thing you need to know, which is that you go into this bridge section, bridge, bridge section, and you let it go. And you let it go. Uh, I don't know exactly how he sings it. was something like that. That part where he's just singing over and over, and you, like, and you let her go. That's just an E minor. And uh, you know what? I showed you this already. If you are paying attention, it's the second half of the verse block and that transition block. So it's just E minor, C, D, D sus4, D. And listen to the song. I think on one of the versions, they might actually uh, go to this B minor just once, but it's so subtle. You could get away with just playing E minor, C, D, and then D sus4 to D. So I know I'm going fast, but I'm going fast because a lot of these blocks are recycled. If you take your time to learn the blocks in the beginning, you'll this stuff will be really easy, okay? So the only little thing you might want to know is just the very end. It's so similar to something you've already learned, but the very end is just C, like a chorus section, C into a G, into the D, and into the E minor. And then you're going to repeat, and this time you're going to go C, G, D. So what makes this different from the other chorus section is that you don't do this D sus4 thing to the D. You just keep it flat there, you just end on the D, and you only play it once through. And the reason you do that is because in the song, the singer is going to sing the last half of the verse solo for kind of an effect. Okay? So believe it or not, you know the whole song. How easy was that? Uh, hopefully somewhat easy. Uh, that's the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.